What's up guys, today we're going to take a look at how to flash an SD card or USB drive or any kind of portable drive with Raspberry Pi OS. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my browser and search for Raspberry Pi Imager and click on this top result here and we can select download for Windows. And once we have that downloaded, we can just go ahead and open it and go through the installation manager. And once that's done, we'll be greeted with a screen that looks like this. So the first thing we need to do is select the device that we're going to be flashing this OS onto. So the device I'm going to be using is one of the Raspberry Pi Model 4s. It's the Model 400, which is basically just a Raspberry Pi 4 inside of a keyboard so you can use it as a computer. Once you have your model in, you'll be able to click choose OS and the top option will be the recommended option for you. So this will be the 64-bit option if you're using a Raspberry Pi 4 or a Raspberry Pi 5, and it'll be a 32-bit option if you're using a Raspberry Pi 3 or older. In my case, it's that 64-bit version, so then the final step is to choose the storage that we're putting it onto. Now, in my case, it's this micro SD card, and it doesn't actually show the name uh, that you would usually see in your file browser here, so just take note of which letter it is. If I open up my file explorer. You can see that I have this drive called boot, which is the F drive. So I want to go ahead and select the device here that's mounted as the F drive. And once we have that, we can click next. And if you want to edit any settings, you can go ahead and do that. So the first thing you can do is you can set the host name if you want to do that. Raspberry Pi is probably fine for me, but then you can set the username and password. Now, if you don't set this, it's something like raspberry for the username and Raspberry Pi for the password, but you can set it to whatever you want. And then if you want it to connect to a Wi-Fi network without having to set that up on the computer, you can go ahead and set that up here. So I could say connect to my Wi-Fi network and then go ahead and add the password, whatever that is. And then you could set where you are in the world for time zone purposes. And we could even change the keyboard layout to something else as well. Now, I'd also recommend you go over to services and enable SSH, which just means that when you turn on your computer for the first time, since it doesn't have a screen, you might want to connect to it from another computer to set some stuff up unless you have a monitor ready to go. But if you don't have a monitor ready to go, this just means that you'll be able to connect to it from another computer, which I'll cover in a later video, right off the bat to get it set up. And we click yes to flash this to our drive, keeping in mind that this will erase everything on the drive. And there we go. Now we have Raspberry Pi OS on our Raspberry Pi device. If you have a monitor ready to go, you can go ahead and use that. If you don't, however, you can actually use your iPhone as a monitor for your Raspberry Pi in this video right here. Or you could check out a different operating system for your Raspberry Pi in this video right here. 